What's up guys, Aaron here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm extremely excited to be bringing you an unboxing of the Samsung Gear VR headset, Innovator Edition. First off, we get a very nice presentation from Samsung. As you can see, we have an image of the Gear VR headset itself. We also have some Samsung branding in the top left-hand corner of the box, and powered by Oculus on the bottom left-hand corner. The back of the box gets us more familiar with some of the specific features and the Gear VR requires the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and will not operate by itself. The side of the box says Samsung Gear VR Innovator Edition. We'll cut through the packaging tape on both sides and lift up the lid. The first thing we're presented with is a very nice carrying case along with a small rectangular box. Located inside is both a replacement eye guard and a little bit of literature getting us more familiar with the Gear VR. Next we have an extremely well made included hard carrying case. Upon opening up the case for the first time we're greeted with the Gear VR itself. Let's go ahead and grab the unit and place it off to the side for now. The case also features a removable velcro divider and includes a 16 gigabyte micro SD card and adapter as well as a microfiber cleaning cloth. Now one thing to keep in mind if you're thinking of purchasing the Samsung Gear VR is that the Gear VR only works with the Galaxy Note 4 and is not compatible with any other devices. Now all carrier Note 4 software updates required for VR compatibility are now available so you won't have any issues there. And also some specific gaming applications may require the use of an Android game controller to offer the full capabilities. This headset offers an experience that I've personally never experienced before, literally surrounding you with virtual video, images, and games in a full 360 degree immersive environment. This Samsung Gear VR headset is the best of both Oculus as well as Samsung's version of what they believe virtual reality should be and definitely takes full advantage of the Note 4's amazing screen and processors. You can navigate through the virtual menu and select content with a combination of head movement and touch controls. Now along with the original announcement of this Gear VR headset, Samsung also announced something called Milk VR, which is the company's first virtual reality content service. Milk VR will deliver new and immersive 360 degree videos five days a week, with channels in music, sports, action, and storytelling. With that being said, there's a complete Oculus store where you can download VR applications, and upon the initial setup of the Gear VR headset, you'll be prompted to download the Oculus Store app. And the main content that you can access in this Gear VR headset is Oculus 360 videos, Oculus Cinema, and games. Located directly on the right side of the headset if you're wearing it is our controls and our touchpad, a dedicated back button, along with the focus adjustment wheel, volume keys, and a phone lock button. Located directly underneath the protective lens is our included male micro USB connector, which I found will accept a Galaxy Note 4 but not a Galaxy Note Edge. My initial thoughts is that I'm extremely excited to be bringing you guys coverage on this Samsung Gear VR headset. I definitely think virtual reality is the future of both gaming as well as movie consumption. Now I plan to make an extremely in-depth review on this product, then let me know down in the comments section what other videos you would like to see me cover on the Samsung Gear VR headset. Anyways guys, that's going to do it for me in this video. If you're interested in purchasing the Samsung Gear VR headset, I will have it linked down below. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future coverage or future content. If you enjoyed this content, let me know by leaving a thumbs up down below and leaving a comment down in the comment section. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you guys for watching. As I mentioned earlier, my name is Aaron, and I'll see you guys on the next one.